This video, we're going to show you how to stop the play Durham out of the Gun Bun Strong offset formation. This is one of the best plays this year. And we're specifically going to be talking about how to stop running the running back streak portion of this route combo because the running back streak is really, I think, the hardest route to consistently stop in this combo. And you pretty much ultimately have to use it in most defenses. Now, we're going to teach this concept out of the dollar 3 2 formation, which is my favorite defense in the game. But this can cross apply to other formations as well as it is just a simple concept that is going to take advantage of an alignment trick that you can use to take this away. Now, what we're going to do for our coaching adjustments here is we're going to have our auto flip defensive play call off, our auto alignment on base, and then everything else is on balanced or default, including zone coverage. You don't want match on, especially if you're playing a baseline defense this year. You want match on if you're playing on default, but if you're or like a default alignment. But if you're using base align, which I prefer because it makes every defense look identical, you want to put your zone coverage on default. Okay. With that in mind, the play we're using is Free Safety Zone Blitz. If you want to get my full defensive ebook on either one of these formations, they are available by becoming a Patreon member today for just $10. That is uh, linked in the description. It gives you access to literally everything that I know about Madden, all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, and all of the updates to those. Now, we're going to call Free Safety Zone Blitz. As you can see, obviously, we're going to come out. Now, when we come out, what we're going to do is we are going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to press. And then, really, really important we are going to back off the slot corner on the right side. So this is kind of the standard alignment of dollar, right? It's kind of the standard how dollar looks pretty, 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 pretty much every single time, right? Okay. So we have a couple, we have a lot of options that we can do from this alignment. One of the things that we can do is you'll see here, and this is a super underrated adjustment, but we need to set up good defense for double corners. So we don't want to get, because we, we understand with this look right here, they have both the threat of double corners and they have the threat of Durham as well as some other plays, but those are the two main plays. If you can stop those plays, you can stop everything. So what we're going to do is we are going to shade our coverage underneath. We're going to middle third this safety on the left side. We're going to curl flat the safety on the right side, and we're going to shade outside. So this is how I stop double corners. Um, I did another video about that in a previous breakdown. But now what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this slot corner and we are going to man him up onto the running back. Now, the important part here is that you individually, when once you man him up, you're going to individually uh, flick your right joystick up. As you see, it backs off this guy right here. If I was to leave him pressed up, let me show you what happens. Now, ultimately, this is a five out play, so they could get screamed at. That's 100%. What you want to do as a user is you want to lurk your lurk here. You're looking to lurk. Basically, the tight end drag to the post is kind of your main uh, user responsibilities. And I'll talk about an additional adjustment you can do to really cage this play in just a second. But I just want you to see here. So, like, let's say that I leave this, this uh, slot corner pressed up on the line of scrimmage. My lurk, I'm going to take this drag, and then I'm going to lurk back to the post. You see, obviously, the pressure is coming in. And it is a five-out setup. It is a five-out play for the offense. So they certainly have the threat of getting screamed at, but I want to go over kind of the routes here. So as you can see, the hard flat is going to take away the vertical's uh, wheel. Your user in this space, they're not going to throw this tight end route, really. They're really just not. Um, if they do, it's a pick. If they throw the post in this, in this window, it is a pick. And then at the last second, you see here, I'm kind of bailing back there. That's a hard read to make consistently, especially if you're getting pressured right up the middle. So then it takes us to the running back. Now, the running back is open right here. But as you can see, not only is the pressure coming in, but the more important thing is, as you can see, if I just let him run, if they block the blitz, the running back's wide open over the top for a big play. So what I like to do is, is this little adjustment right here. So again, we're just going to back off the slot corner on the right. We're going to shade underneath, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to middle third, the safety on the right, purple this guy and then last but not least we're going to man up the slot corner on the running back now the other th uh the thing you want to do with this is you want to back him off and what you'll see here is if i run the same exact route combination and this time we'll try to pick up the pressure sometimes this put this pickup works sometimes it doesn't but we're going to try to pick up the pressure and what you'll see is as a user what i'm going to do is i'm going to go like this they're not going to throw the running back and then i'm going to work back to the post and as you see even he does get beat slightly, but he really doesn't get burned on that. And it makes it a super tight window for them to fit this in. And it's, in my opinion, the running back streak is a really hard throw to make. And so what you'll see here, 
See how he's right there. He's right with them. He does have inside positioning, but he's also running into a KO. So if you throw the ball inside, we have this kind of bracketed with an inside-outside leverage technique. All right? Now, if you want the rest of the way to stop this play, what we're going to do is only one other adjustment. So we're going to set up our defense exactly the same. Everything that I just said is 100% is exactly what we're going to do. Okay? Then what we're going to do, the last little step of this, is we're going to take this linebacker in the middle of the field and we are going to put him on a hard flat. So we still back this guy up. Uh, let me do, let me man him up on triangle and then we'll back him up. But this is the last adjustment. And what this is going to do, and I would crash down if I was going to do this, this will take the tight end drag completely away. And it really allows you as a user to 100% put all your energy into the post route across the field. So what you're going to do is you're going to run like this, take that away, take that away. And then as you see, there's really nothing open on this play. So this is how you stop one of the best route combos in the game, utilizing these adjustments. These adjustments are super, super effective. Now, if you want to get even more adjusty, one of the things I like to do is we'll throw this guy on the left side in a vert hook, then we'll shade underneath, right? And then we'll put this guy in a cr uh, curl flat to the right, of course, and we're going to shade outside. From there, we can drop this linebacker into a middle third, and we can take the safety and crossman him onto the running back. Again, you want to sh your shade outside really should probably be your last adjustment. So it's the same kind of thing. We just get to the coverage a little bit differently. It provides better leverage, and it allows us to not have to back off that corner on the on the left. So there's no tell that we're doing that. And the user lurk is really the same. You're going to go here, and then late you're going to go back to the post. You see the crossman is able to get over there, and then you also have that. Um, the uh, the deep blue over the top. So if you think they're running Durham out of this formation, obviously it's one of the best formations in the game, this is the defense that I would go with. This does a really, really good job of stopping one of the best offenses in Madden. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to get the rest of the defense, make sure to join the Patreon. You can join that by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.